Good morning, you guys. I am doing my makeup and I thought, oh my gosh, I should probably turn on the camera and talk to you guys today. First of all, I woke myself up on accident. I think going on the cruise, like because it was such a time zone difference, um, we were in Florida and Florida is three hours ahead of Arizona. And so 8 a.m. their time is 5 a.m. my time. And I think my body got used to waking up so early, like early on the cruise. And now I've come home and it's like, I'm all messed up. It's either that <laughs> or it is just like, I feel refreshed, I feel rested, I feel good. And my body is just waking up early. So, I mean, I love it because I, it is always a goal of mine to like be up early today. I accidentally woke myself up at five. I was gonna get up at six, but I woke up at five because this time of year, my allergies get so bad, which is wild because I'm like, normally people get allergies in the spring and I get it in the winter. And I think that's just because like, winter in Arizona is like spring because <laughs> the weather, but it's probably just with the weather changing that my body just, my allergies kick in. So this morning I woke myself up because I was breathing out of my nose and my nose was whistling. And so it woke me up <laughs> and then it just wouldn't stop. It wouldn't stop. I laid there, I tried to like make it go away and it would not. And so I was like, fine, I will just get up then. So I have been up since five and I was like, well, what the heck should I do with myself? So. I was planning some Christmas, um, you know, decorating ideas and things like that. And I went back to watch my old videos, which are on my main channel, Building and Beauty. If you guys didn't know, I'm like obsessed with Christmas. My whole family, all my family is. And so I do Christmas bedroom makeovers every year for all my siblings. And I decorate my mom's house and decorate my house. And it's a lot of decorating. I think it ends up being like 15 trees or something ridiculous. I don't even know. Um, so <laughs> this year, I was trying to get some inspiration. I went back and watched my old videos and now I'm like full blown Christmas mode. It's in my head. I'm so excited to decorate. Like I want to decorate today, even though I don't have all my stuff. I have a lot of work to do before I can even decorate, but I'm ready and so excited. This year I'm doing the same theme that I did um, last year for my house. So I really don't have like, a ton of decor that I need to buy. Like last year I had so many things to buy because I was doing a new theme, but because I'm doing my same theme, I just wanna add a few pieces to make it really special. Things I felt like I was missing last year, um, but just couldn't find. So I'm sticking with my same theme. I am so excited, but of course I wanna try to do it a little bit different to make it special for you guys um, that watch my main channel. So. Um, yeah, I'm ready to decorate. I have to get all my stuff out of the attic, which all my flooring is in front of my attic right now. So I have to move some of my flooring so I can get up in my attic and get all my decor at my mom's house. It literally, she has a four car garage and it takes the entire four car garage to organize all of her Christmas decor so I can like plan the bedrooms and get my themes together and like get everything figured out in my head because it's so much decor and I just want it to be like all the decor's up, you know? I already want to be in that stage of like enjoying it. It feels good to get a head start this year. I'm glad that I decided to push off my flooring project until the new year because now we can just enjoy the season, which is exactly what I wanted. So anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready. Let's have such a good day. One thing I always do is wet my brush before I dip into a glitter eyeshadow because it helps with the glitter to not like fall off and then it really like amplifies the glitter at the same time. Um, it is like the best trick in the book. If you've never done it, you absolutely need to try it because it just makes the, the eyeshadow just like pop with all of the glitter in it and then it stays in place and it lasts all day. So it is just like, look at that. It is my favorite thing ever so easy i always do it i don't know if i've ever shared that with you guys after i get my brows done which i hate doing my brows my favorite part of my makeup routine is highlighting my brow bone i swear if you've never tried it it is the best it gives your brow it almost like gives you a brow lift if you will and um this shade in this palette this is the tartlet the toasted palette 
and it's just got the most like gorgeous deep shades in it um, but there's a shade in here called sunrise and it just has the tiniest bit of glitter in it like just a little bit and it is my new favorite shade to highlight my brow bone with it just looks so gorgeous normally i'll just take like a little bit of highlighter and i still will do that for the inner corners of my eyes i always put highlighter there i also put highlighter up on the tops of my cheekbones and then down my nose and then i do put just the tiniest bit on my forehead as well sometimes i haven't really got this comment in a long time since i i'm on a different camera now but my old camera i don't know why it used to just make my face look like I was just glowing and I think it's, be I mean, I have a light above my camera, but it would just make my face look like it was glowing. And so many of you would be like, why is your face so shiny? And I'm like, well, most people don't walk around in the real world and um, have a light above their head that shines on their face. <laughs> and I think just with me doing like highlighter and everything, it always would make me like look so shiny. But my new camera makes it look a little bit more realistic and see like this is, that's how much my light makes a difference. Anyway, I hope you guys can see me. I actually care about the quality of my videos in case you didn't know. I am all almost ready for the day. I need to do my hair. And one thing that I just recently got, which I'm really excited about, I've tried it once so far and I've really, really liked it. It is this um, Cactus Fruit Styling Cream by Day. It's really, really nice and super hydrating for your hair. And I, I feel like it just helps me to get an extra day out of my hair. I normally wash my hair every two days. So like every other day I wash it. Um, and I have to use dry shampoo on the second day. Like I just feel like I have an oily scalp, but it's been weird because recently I have noticed and my hair kind of goes through stages. Like it just does. But recently, all of a sudden I had this breakage right here up in the top just in just around my face i noticed that i had some breakage so it's just kind of weird that it's just around my face i went ahead and bought a satin pillowcase um because i used to have one a long time ago i don't know what made me got get like off the track of using one um but i got a satin pillowcase to try to like help with that so that way it you know keeps my hair from breaking and stuff but I thought that this um, styling cream would be really nice because it's also um, really hydrating it says it's infused with hydrating desert botanicals to add shine tame frizz and deliver buildable touchably soft control so what I'm going to do is actually just um, lather it in my hair and it's gonna give me like a slick back and I'm gonna, you have to kind of use like a lot of it. It's gonna give me like a slick back look with my hair and tame everything, but also I feel like keep my hair like so hydrated and kind of have like a conditioning treatment on my hair for like the entire day, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know why, I, my hair, I've seen my hair through so many things. I mean, would you go from black to blonde? Um, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see your hair go through some stuff that you're like, oh, I, I feel so bad for my hair. So I'm not like super afraid of the breakage, but when I noticed it, I was like, ooh, I am going to definitely try my best to make sure I am doing all the things to take care of it so it doesn't keep happening. So I know this kind of like looks a little like concerning because you're like, no. But just wait, just wait. It's actually so cute. Oh, that's right. I have to, whenever I style my hair like this, like slick back like that, I always feel like doing a middle part looks so much better. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to literally slick it back into a little bun. And it looks so nice and like such a nice clean, it's like a clean girl look. You know okay I love it and then I think it's gonna be so healthy for my hair to be doing this and then because it's like just goes back because um, I normally style my hair on the second day of doing my hair when you have short hair like you have no option like you have to do your hair every single day but now that it's like getting a little bit longer I can definitely get away with not you know, doing it, I can actually put it back into a little bun. That's the only reason I have kept my hair this length because believe me, I am in the, the mode of like, I want to chop it off. 
um, really, really bad. And then what I need to do, I know my mom had like a stick to like keep all the flyaways like back and stuck to your head. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. I have to go to her house in just a little bit. I'm gonna try it out today and see how I like it. Cause I know I need to get one. Cause kind of once this cream like sets in your hair, like then your hair kind of feels a little bit more normal. So yeah, I know it kind of looks crazy, but it's gonna be really, really cute. Okay, I don't know if I did an amazing job, but here it is. I think it's kind of cute. It's hard because my hair is like medium length, so putting it back in a bun always looks like a freaking mess, um, but I think I did good. I looked at a little tutorial on Pinterest. I'll keep practicing before I give you guys an official, you know, review and tutorial of it, but I am always, ever since I got jewelry from Ana Luisa, I am always wearing, like I got the cutest pieces and they have been my go-to every single day, especially these little like huggy hoops. These are so cute. Hopefully you guys can see them. I wear these ones, I go back and forth between these ones and then I have this regular, I know I've shared them on my channel before. I have this regular little tiny huggy hoop and these are just, they're so cute and they're so perfect. So I love it, love it. I'm gonna go put on a necklace. We are just wearing a little simple top. I'll show you guys my outfit today. And um, yeah, easy peasy, love it, love it to be back. I think it looks good. Okay, here's my super simple outfit for the day. It's just some black leggings and then this black top that I got from um, Kohl's. I think it's really nice. And then I have another Ana Luisa um, little necklace on. I love this one. And then my house is a mess because, <laughs> hi Truffle! He's, he wants my food. Mark just made me breakfast. Look how yummy. He wants some, don't you? My house is a mess. I need to vacuum because I was taking down all of my Halloween decor. So anyway, it's just the next morning and it was too late last night for me to finish. But anyway, ever since I got these shoes, they're Nikes. Look how cute this little detail is on the back. Ever since I got these, I have worn them every single day. They're so comfortable and they were so affordable. I just love them. And I feel like they just make like any outfit look so cute, I love it. Truffle, I need to know. Truffle, I need to know how you got this cute. I need to know, I need to know. It's like it's a sequin. He's so cute. It is so cute. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, thank you for breakfast. No problem. Thank you, thank you. Love you. Love you. Say good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. vlog fam. Yes. Look how cute she is. I'm not. Look ready at my yet. mom. She's I'm adorable. Not ready yet. You're so cute. No. <laughs> so this. Oh, it went on the bed. Oh, oh she no. got it. She got it. Um. So this is my morning routine. When I sit down and get ready, she brings me the ball, and then I throw it backwards like this the whole time. <laughs> she puts it in this drawer. Does she really? Yeah. And then I have to take it and throw it. <laughs> you guys have a routine. Huh? That's the routine. That's cute. So. Hiya. Oh, look, right behind you now. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, 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 <laughs> fail, fail. fail. Look at her, she's like, come on. That was disappointing. Anyway, so I was telling everyone that you have the best little stick oh. to um, hold my like flyaways down. Yeah, I've never, I mean, it's probably like mm -hmm. really like old news. But um, these is like new for me. I've never it, tried one. It's a life changer. If you haven't tried a hair wax stick, it is amazing. Okay. Amazing. I'm ready. Not This is not sponsored. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm ready. I just love it. So, so you push your finger up in it until you get it where you want it. Oh, okay. It. I mean, is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. And then you just put it on. Yeah. And that's it? That's it. And the awesome thing about it is like, you know when you use hairspray and then it's like all stiff? Yeah. And Ooh. then, isn't it kind of nice? Yeah. Yeah, and then, um, but then like if your little flyaways come out, yeah. then they're all sticky and you can't get them to stay in. But with like the wax, you could just like put them back in and, and then it just stays. stays. Okay. Yeah. Like my issue is the suction, like right yes. in here. That's because I can see they're a little shorter. Yeah. They're like. But yeah, that'll make it stay all day. And if it comes out, you just kind of push it back in because okay. it's wax that stays. I'm gonna give it a go. Is okay. it hard to get out of your hair? Not even a little. No. No. Like so, even, when you go to wash your hair, it's, it's just fine. The same. Yeah, you won't even okay. notice it. Yeah, and cool. sometimes I'll put like a lot in it and I st you still don't notice it. Okay. It feels nice. Yeah. It's yeah. Feel. Okay. It's my favorite. Addison and I, that's our, our thing. Love it. Okay, I was like, I'm gonna try it and then I'll, I'll order some. I saw some that were like, it looked like it was a mascara. Okay. And so it was just like on a little wand. 
and then you comb it through your oh, hair. And okay. I was like, that's really interesting. But then when you said this was good, I was like, okay. Yeah, it's so good. Cool. I love it. And this is the, I don't know, G-O-I-P-L-E. <laughs> no, how do you say that? Goipel? Go, go. Goipel? We're butchering it. I know, we're butchering it. <laughs> I, know. I know, we're butchering it. There's people this out there is what it looks, right I know. Now. This is what it looks like, okay? I know, I originally got it for Brinley's hair. Okay. So, and then yeah. I was like, oh wow, You're this like, is well, actually yeah. awesome. It looks nice, right? Yeah. Did I do it again? Yeah, it looks really good. Okay. Looks great. Nice and fresh. Ready to go. Ready to have a good day. Mm -hmm.